Anon's five-piece cookware set from Ikea. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Clueless Dad. Today we're going to unbox and assemble, sort of unbox, uh, this five-piece cookware set called Anon's from Ikea. I'm here in my new apartment in Japan. They sell this thing worldwide. Here in Japan, it sells for only $19.99 Japanese yen, which is like $14 at the current price. And that'll get you two saucepans and a pot and two lids. Uh, yeah, so let's just kind of put this down for a second. And, you know, this is basically two pieces for the two lids and three pots. Um, so here's the details. Here's what it looks like. So here are your two glass, tempered glass tops without the handle yet. And then your two saucepans also without the handle. And this one still has a cardboard on it. So these are stainless steel with an aluminum plate in the bottom for heat conduction and also they work with induction heating as well as gas. Here's all the extra bits and it does come with an instruction and warranty book. So the book comes with a few important safety tips as like don't touch hot things for example, don't let it boil dry because it'll melt. Um, also it says don't store food in here because if it's in there for too long it comes off with a metallic taste which is kind of scary. Um, if you feel a handle or knobs coming loose, tighten them, obviously. Uh, it doesn't talk about any non-stick coating, but it does say don't use steel wool because it will scratch the surface. Okay, so let's put on one of the lids. There's basically two pieces here, kind of the upper and lower part, I guess. And since it's glass, you can line it up pretty easily. And then it's just a, and it's just a machine screw with a washer, and the washer is kind of curved so it has a direction and just I think by hand you can get it going and then you can actually screw it from there and keep it tight with a screwdriver and this is one of those screws that will work with a flat or a, a Phillips screwdriver so just make sure that it's not going to come loose and there you go if it comes loose just tighten it again and just note that it does come with the little vent hole on the tempered glass. So here's the 2.8 liter pot. The bottom, yeah, it looks pretty good. Fits nice. Can't expect too much for this price, right? So even without a screwdriver, pretty easy. So now to get the handle on, it's pretty simple. There's basically just a piece of metal welded on there uh, and it has a threaded hole, tapped hole, and now you take this collar and there's a notch in there and that notch goes on the inside and it's kind of and it's made to fit the rounded edge and there's an arrow pointing inwards and so get that on there take the handle all fits in place just hold it so now you just want to get it in that hole and then screw it in so yeah once you've got it in there Just screw it all the way in, super simple. Obviously, you need a, this one you need a screwdriver for, for sure. So yeah, there you have it. Just make sure your screwdriver is long enough. Get it nice and tight. This one you should be able to feel if it starts coming loose, obviously. So this is the 0.9 liter saucepan with no lid. Now for the last one, I'm gonna try it a different way. Uh, basically get the collar on the handle, put the screw in first get it all ready and now just fit it on there and then get it this way and I should be able to just screw it in yeah so pretty simple I hope you guys can see that so here is our assembled 1.7 liter saucepan with a tempered glass top. Okay, and here you have your Anon five piece set. That's a glass lid on a 2.8 liter pot, two saucepans, one is 1.7 liter with a top, and the other one is 0.9 liters with no top. Only 19.99 Japanese yen, which is about $14 at the current price. I'll put the US price down at the bottom because I didn't look it up before I started. Anyway, so yeah, you can't expect too much, but you can't complain too much because it basically will get the job done. It's got decent handles, 
Okay, question. How come these handles were screwed on before you got it and these ones you have to put on? I think just for packing sake. Last but not least, obviously I recommend washing these things out before you use them to cook. Don't use steel wool. Anyway, that's it for today. If you guys have any questions or comments or any other IKEA products you'd like to see, let me know down in the description below. Bye.